Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Oftentimes life can be boring and we feel as if we're simply going through the motions in autopilot. Yet when you look closely, you'll realise that our planet is actually full of interesting people, places, events and phenomena. Here are a few things that might jolt you from your seat. Number 10. Ice music. However you look at it, ice is a simple substance that melts away. It's just water. In its solid state, it can easily disintegrate. Some art lovers have found a true silver lining and despite the facts they've created some masterpieces from ice. From ice sculptures, ice musical instruments and ice music. I know you're racking your brains, how is this even possible? One Swedish independent band, Shout Out Loud, gave their fans an amazing experience with their brand new single, Blue Ice. They chose a very unique way to drum up hype around it. The single was released on a record that was made of ice. They went further on to offer some hacks on how the fans could create their record on their own. The fans simply needed an ice mold, a silicon pad and a bottle of distilled water. As much as this seems far-fetched, ice records can indeed play music recorded on them. Check this out. As you can hear, the sound has a slightly different quality. Ice vinyl is quite different from ordinary vinyl. It has grooves on the surface that are read by the turntable. These special records were released in a limited edition, just several dozen copies that were given away to close friends and loyal fans of the band. Number 9. Sheep Vodka Disclaimer, no sheep have been harmed in producing this vodka. Sheep vodka is actually made from sheep cheese. Ryan Hart Sean's family sold cheese for a living. The returns from the sales of cheese were not satisfactory. Ryan then decided to be a little innovative and went ahead to create his own project, making sheep vodka. In April 2015, he had a breakthrough and sold his first bottle of sheep vodka and in only two years started selling more alcohol than cheese. Currently, the numbers are looking pretty good and his sheep vodka generates $350 a year. The sheep vodka became a favourite to many and Ryan went to add onto the line some sheep gin. Who would have thought that sheep vodka could be this successful? The human mind is indeed a powerhouse. Number 8. Sandwich in a pickle all those who like pickles on their sandwiches, raise your hands. Now we're sure you've never tasted the sandwiches we're about to show you, at least not in this combination. This sandwich not only contains pickles, but replaces the bread with pickles. The sandwiches are quite popular and there's a shop that exclusively sells them. Believe it or not, this idea came by accident. Catherine Cohen, the owner of this food place, used to make pickle sandwiches for her mother who suffers from diabetes and couldn't eat bread. One day she packed some sandwiches for work and shared with a colleague who really enjoyed them. She then brought a whole lot of them to work and they became a hit. When the colleagues uploaded the sandwiches on social media, everyone was eager to try them. As they say, the rest is history. Catherine, who started to make the pickle sandwiches using the family recipe, has seen her establishment flourish. On the wall, the motto is quite inviting. Peace, love and pickles. As you line up to get your order, you're always welcome to try the pickle brine or pickle flavoured chips. This is a little haven for all those who love pickles. Number 7. Hair Highlighting You might be a little confused while we're talking about this subject. There seems to be nothing special or new about hair highlighting, but that's where you're wrong. People are constantly coming up with things that could make something as simple as hair highlighting incredible. Try pulling it through a hat. It sounds pretty absurd. How it works with the hat is by pulling strands of hair through the holes of the hat, then dyeing the hair. This technique has been proven to work and hairdressers from all over the world use these hats, enabling them to create pieces of hair art. Just have a look at this amazing bouncy hairstyle from the hair hat. Pretty dope. Number 6. Underwater Hockey Water sports have become quite popular these days, from synchronised swimming, diving and water polo. Underwater hockey is a new discipline that very few have been able to engage in. It's popular in many countries and a good number of championships are held regularly. It isn't a sport for amateurs. It's very fast paced and most players not only have to be able to swim well, but they also have to be able to hold their breath for long times underwater. The players don't have oxygen masks and the match takes place at the very bottom of the pool. Because of its intricacy, it's a systematic game. 
Step 1. Take a deep breath, then dive into the water. Look for the puck, try to catch it, and in the same breath, pass it to a partner or send the puck to the goal. Then come up to the surface for some more air. Sounds like quite a feat. It would be a bit ridiculous to use heavy hockey sticks underwater. In that case, customised special sticks are made for the sport. They're small and easy to handle with only one hand. Other sports gear includes air tubes, caps, underwater masks, swim fins, gloves and the puck of course. The hardest part of the game is sending the puck to the underwater goal. I bet you can't do too many tackles while holding your breath. Number 5. Hitchhiking Robot Robotics seem to populate our lives more and more each day, each one coming with a specialised function. Some help us in getting things done at home, while others are sent on expeditions to the bottom of the ocean. Now, wouldn't it be strange while you're driving down the road minding your own business that you come across a hitchhiking robot in need of a lift? This is a real-life situation that happened in 2014 when researchers and students from a Canadian university created Hitchbot. The robot was created using simple household items that no one would be tempted to steal it while it was travelling. The robot only had one mobile element, its arm. This would attract human drivers as it imitated human gestures such as flagging down a car when asked for a lift. The developers also installed LED lights in the robot to help it wink in order to hold a simple conversation and also access Wikipedia for answers while engaging with its travel companions. The very first trip of this very diverse hitchbot was made from July 27th to August 21st. The journey started in Canada, it covered over 10,000 kilometres before the hitchbot crossed over to Germany and also visited the Netherlands. On entering the US, the trip wasn't a success, as some bullies broke the robot as it sat by the side of the road. Number 4. Cutting hair with fire When you think about it, no good can come out of combining hair and fire. That being the case, Milan's hairdresser Franco Bompieri is out to prove us all wrong. This hair master uses a very distinctive method to cut hair. This is setting fire to his client's hair. In Milan, he's the owner of one of the oldest barber shops known as Antica Babiero Colla, the place that he founded in the early 20th century. He goes by all old school traditions that come with hair cutting. Some of these include the use of scissors and combs and the burning of hair, as opposed to the use of electronic gadgets. Franco explains that the use of such traditional methods enables the hair to grow much healthier and stronger. It also means that the hair doesn't shed. You should trust this master, he's been in the hair business since he was 9 years old. A cautionary note, don't try to cut your hair with fire at home or when you're alone. Number 3. 16,000 Antlers To all the collectors of things, be it comics, notes, coins, stamps or butterflies, this one will fascinate you. Jim Phillips, who hails from Montana, USA, has the largest collection of deer and antelope antlers in the world. Jim, however, has not killed a single animal. His special collection is comprised of antlers he's found in the woods as he sets out on adventures every now and then. Jim has been collecting antlers for almost all his life. It's no wonder that his collection is so big. To keep and display the antlers, Jim has built a separate place for the collection. Walking in search of antlers is a pastime activity he enjoys immensely. He doesn't plan to stop anytime soon. But his wall of countless antlers can seem a bit spooky at times. Number 2. Roadless Town If I were to ask you what does a typical European village look like, I'm certain cosy little houses, well-kept lawns as well as trees everywhere will form your mental picture. In the village of Hietheurn, popularly known as the Venice of Holland, there are literally no roads, just lots of water. So, boats and vessels remain the most commonly used means of transport. In recent times, bicycle lanes have been created, making riding and walking a way to navigate about. You might wonder how this little village came about. It dates back to the 1230s, when people from troubled regions of the Netherlands fled to the place and while they were there, discovered rich deposits of minerals and started digging trenches near their houses. After a while, the trenches filled with groundwater and turned to canals, widening enough to replace all existing roads. In some of the new spaces in Giethoorn, you can find asphalted areas, but they don't bother the visiting tourists who come to experience the Venice of the North. And at number 1, Mesoamerican Ball Game A long time before football, baseball or other ball games became popular, the very ancient Mayans organised their own Mesoamerican Ball Game competition. 
This was quite the popular sport among the pre-Columbian Mesoamericans. What happens in this game is that a player hits the ball using their hips. It sounds quite uncomfortable, but to them, it was pretty normal. In present-day Mexico and the state of Hidalgo, a few people are trying to revive the game. The rules of play are simple. You move the ball with your hips such that it moves past a certain line for your team to get a point. The hardest part of the game is the beginning, where a series of injuries seem to occur. Once the game gains some momentum, it's pretty fun. It's a game for both men and women. Participants are divided into teams depending on their gender. Keeping the game alive is important. It's considered a legacy that can be passed on to future generations. Let us know which of these amazed you the most. For us, it has to be the Hitchbot. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up my next video.